Nam Yeonhee. She won medals at the Beijing and London Olympics. She has been running a successful fencing academy in Seoul since 2020. In August, Nam announced she had divorced her husband of 12 years, national cyclist Kong Yo Seok, with whom she has an 11 year old daughter. Nam also said she has started seeing another person. Then she became the focal point of attention when she revealed who her fiancé was, especially since that person was 15 years her junior and presumably very rich. Hello, this is Hyunsoo from Korea Now. Two-time Olympic fencing medalist Nam Hyun-hee introduced Jeon chong joo as her boyfriend and a scion of a wealthy Korean Tebor family, saying they plan to marry. According to a story carried by Yo Song Joseon, Chun was born and raised in the U.S. He was a former equestrian who trained in New York, but got injured which forced his retirement. Chun claimed he worked as an executive for a global IT company and currently operates an etiquette education center for children in Korea. Nam, her daughter, and Chun were known to be living in his apartment in Seoul, one of the fanciest and most luxurious apartments in the city where Chun used to live by himself. This relationship has been one of the most talked about issues this week. However, after the interview article between the two was reported, Chun's gender controversy spread like wildfire, and suspicions were raised that Chun had been convicted of several counts of fraud in the past. Nam denied the rumors and vowed legal action against anyone who spread them. But the repercussions grew as a court ruling on Chun's criminal past was unearthed. Local entertainment news provider Dispatch reported that the court ruling listed a series of damning content. Chun swindled a total of some $221,000 from 10 victims. Chun was found to have pretended to be a man, even though she was a woman, or deceived the victims by pretending to be born out of wedlock to a wealthy family. Her actions range from receiving up to about $51,000 from one victim to using about $370 worth of various goods and not returning them. Shockingly, the real Chun Chong Jo was found to be a woman from Kangwa Island. She left Kangwa Island when she went to attend Korea Horseman High School. A YouTuber directly disclosed the contents of the phone call with Chun Chong Jo on the 25th. When asked about the allegations surrounding her, Chun took a firm stand saying, I'm not going to talk about anything. It's pointless asking me questions. Nam Yeon Hee confessed in an interview saying, I was completely deceived by Chun Chong Jo. Nam learned for the first time that Chun had used her name to swindle money. Eventually, Nam broke up with Chun after various media outlets started digging into the matter. She left Chun's home and went to her mother's house in the early morning of the 26th. Chun followed her and repeatedly pounded on the door and rang the doorbell, which caused a police called to the scene to briefly detain Chun on stalking charges, although she was released shortly afterward. Police have said they will launch an investigation on Chun, who has been accused of trying to commit fraud in another case. But how was Nam utterly deceived by the swindler who even hid her true gender? Korean Now will keep you updated surrounding the controversies of the former fiancé of Nam Yeon-hee, who seems to have a lot of secrets she wants to keep in the dark.